hello everyone so in this video we will discuss about the leaf so let's start now questions first question is leaves become modified into spines in which of the following so the answer here will be opuntia in xerophytic plants the leaves modify into sharp pointed spines example solanus uh, solanum suratinis opuntia asparagus etc this modification is either for protection of plant or to lessen transcript transpiration or for both okay so that's why leaves become modified into spines now how many plants among china rose osimium sunflower mustard alstonia guava calotropis and nerium have opposite phyllotaxy okay so you get you will get this kind of question a lot like it's very common in morphology in these kind of chapters so you have to remember all those examples here which is given in ncrt so uh, here the answer will be 3 in opposite phyllotaxy two leaves are born on the opposite side of a single node okay like this is one node and two leaves will be um two leaves are born on the opposite side of single uh, node it is of two types opposite and superposed opposite and decussate so osimium osimium uh, guava and calotropis guava and calotropis have opposite decussate phyllotaxy okay opposite decussate phyllotaxy okay moving to the next question phyllode is present in what will be the answer australian acacia so in several species of acacia in several species of acacia which is found in desert of australia uh, the lamina is by by uh, like bipinnate lamina is not present instead petiole and part of the rachis become flattened okay into shikel shaped structure for performing the function of food synthesis such a flattened petiole which carry out the function of the lamina where petiole functions as a lamina is called phyllode formation of phyllode is a mechanism to reduce transpiration because it is vertically placed and has fewer stomata okay so this is very important point remember it moving to the next question hold simple leaves with reticulate venation are present in which of the following neem calotropis alstonia or china rose so the answer will be alstonia okay now let's discuss in alstonia five or more leaves arise from each node so it shows whole phyllotaxy the leaves are leathery sessile simple which are elliptical or ovate or wedge shaped at the base it is used in traditional medicine so these are basically or mostly the ncrt points so you it is easy for you to remember this okay now i have uh, have some theoretical point here like this is the structure of leaf which has taken from ncrt you see here this broad leaf this broad part of leaf is called lamina ye section jo hara bhara hota hai jahan pe photosynthesis hoti hai usko lamina kehte hain then this uh, this uh, dentary jisko hindi mein kehte hain petiole ye petiole hai then this here between this petiole and this section is called leaf base then here should be uh, here should somewhere is axillary bud and then this is stipule okay so the lamina or leaf blade is the green expanded part of the leaf is the green expanded part of the leaf with veins and ve the uh, lamina or leaf blade is the green expanded part of the leaf with veins and veinlets you see here is a prominent ridge मतलब एक तरह का मार्किंग आप देखेंगे एक लाइन आप कह सकते हैं 
उसको वेंस कहते हैं तो जैसे ये मिडिल में है बीच में है उसको दे इज अ मिडिल प्रोमिनेंट वेन इसको वेन कहते हैं प्रोमिनेंट मीन्स यहाँ पे बहुत पक्का सा एक लाइन है जिसको वेन कहते हैं मिडरिप भी कह सकते हैं सो वेन क्या करता है वेन रिजिडिटी प्रोवाइड करता है लीव्स को एंड फंक्शंस जैसे वाटर मिनरल्स एंड फूड ट्रांसपोर्ट में प्लांट को हेल्प करता है थ्रू दिस वेन एंड दिस ब्रांचेस ऑफ वेन इज कॉल्ड वेन लेट्स ओके सो दिस इज आल्सो दिस पैटर्न इज कॉल्ड वेनेशन हियर ये पैटर्न जो होता है ये लाइन हो गया लीफ में ये लाइन ये लाइन ये लाइन इस पैटर्न को वेनेशन कहते हैं तो द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ वेन्स एंड द वेन्स इन द लैमिना ऑफ द लीफ इज कॉल्ड वेनेशन ओके और वेनेशन दो तरह का होता है रेटिकुलेट एंड पैरेलल रेटिकुलेट वेनेशन ऐसा दिखता है देखो एक मिड रिब है एक लंबा सा लाइन देन उससे ऐसे लाइन्स निकले हुए हैं ये सब लाइन्स वेनलेट्स कहलाते हैं तो इस तरह का जो जाल की तरह होता है वेनेशन इसको रेटिकुलेट वेनेशन कहते हैं जो कि मोनोकोट प्लांट में देखा जाता है नाउ पैरल वेनेशन आप केले के केला के पत्ता में देखे होंगे ऑल लाइंस सारे लाइंस जो हैं वो एक दूसरे के बराबर में हैं सो so, इसको पैरल वेनेशन कहते हैं और ये डाइकोट में पाया जाता है सो आई होप दिस वीडियो हैज़ हेल्प यू इन सम वे इन प्रैक्टिसिंग फॉर योर नीट एग्जामिनेशन थैंक यू